The New York Mets screwed up once again. Ronnie Mauricio, ACL tear. This really sucks. This is all things Mets. This is where you get your latest Mets media. Everything you know about the Mets on this channel, definitely do me a favor. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to enjoy Mets content and baseball content in general. Let's get into today's topic, and that's the Mets screwing up again, allowing a player to play in non-season competition once again like they didn't learn from the situation with edwin diaz in the world baseball classic and if you don't know if you don't know edwin diaz had a season ending injury you know in the world baseball classic a non-season competition um you know a world baseball classic celebrating after a big save uh, it was a freak injury but he got injured and he missed the whole year for the new york mets and yes, he will be back in 2024, but now the Mets have another issue, and that is Ronnie Mauricio touring his ACL. This really does suck, you know, tearing his ACL uh, for Ronnie Mauricio, a, a kid that, you know, was just trying to play some winter league Dominican ball, just trying to get an extended look at third base. Um, you know, it, this really does suck, but this is on the Mets. This is on the Mets for allowing a type of player like that you know, to play, to, um, you know, have the permission to play in the Winter League, to play in non-season competition. This has nothing to do with Major League Baseball. So why would you allow a prospect that you see as your future third baseman or infield second baseman, whatever, you value him highly, why allow him to go out there and, you know, risk an injury? And it really does suck for the kid because... All he wanted to do was just prove that, you know, he could play third base, get better at third base and learn the position and just have some fun playing some winter league ball. And this really does suck for the kid. This sucks, but it sucks for the Mets even worse because now, you know, um, they don't have Ronnie Mauricio going into 2024. Now, listen, Ronnie Mauricio, the big injury with the eight, the he tore his ACL. We don't know how long he's going to be out, but this really does suck for the New York Mets. But this is on the Mets. This is on David Stearns. I know you just I know David Stearns just came into the organization and I understand that. But he allowed Ronnie Mauricio to play in the Winter League. You know, he's allowing, you know, these guys to play in non-season competition. The Mets have to. I don't understand how they didn't learn their lesson from the World Baseball Classic with, you know, the Edwin Diaz situation. After that, you should have just locked down your players and tell your players you're not going to play in non-season competition. You're not. And, you know, it really does suck. And now that the Mets don't have really Ronnie Mauricio going into 2024, you know, he was looking like he was going to be in competition for the third baseman competition. And it does suck. It really does suck. This, this just... This is an awful decision by David Stearns, an awful decision by the Mets organization to allow this type of player, a type of player that you value, a type of player that you see a type of future in. It, it, this is awful. This is not, it was not a great decision by the Mets. And I get what they wanted to do. They wanted to give Ronnie Mauricio an extended look at third. He, want, he wanted to get more reps. You know, I understand why Ronnie Mauricio went to play Winter League ball, you know, the Dominican League. I, I get it, you know, but... This, this sucks for an organization because you should not have allowed Ronnie Mauricio to play. You should not have allowed. You should have told them, listen, we want you for the 2024 season. We need you, and we can't risk an injury. Now, obviously, if Edwin Diaz would have wanted to play in the Puerto Rican League or whatever it is, or the Winter League or whatever it was, they would not have said, they would not have said yes because, you know, obviously the, the value that, that a closer has, you know, for a team. We saw the value in 2023, and Edwin Diaz was missed. Now, Ronnie Mauricio's injury does really suck. Um, is it the end of the world for the Mets? No, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, there's big injuries around the game, like Jason M Dominguez had a big injury, you know, for the Yankees at the end of the season. You know, so these injuries happen, and I get it. It can definitely happen in season as well, but... This just sucks for the Mets because it, I just don't understand why would you allow, you know, these players to play in non-season competition. This is this is 
This was an awful decision by David Stearns, awful decision by Steve Cohen, and an awful decision by the Mets organization. So this is on the Mets organization. You know, um, this is really not what you wanted going into 2024. And now they have lost somebody else, you know, going into 2024. So Ronnie Mauricio is injured. You know, Edwin Diaz is coming back just now from, you know, that big injury that he had in the World Baseball Classic a year ago. So, you know, I would say, guys, I would say to the Mets organization, value your players, value your players, because this is awful. This was an awful decision. So value your players. That's all I will. That's all I really can say. Value your players and don't allow them to play in non-season competition ever again. And I know that the World Baseball Classic is amazing. It's a great spectacle. But the Mets really lost, you know, their closer and you know if, if if you know if they don't play in the world baseball classic then it's not the end of the world you know the end season mlb major league baseball is more important in my opinion i know you know this really does suck though but in my opinion the season is more important than a world baseball classic competition and any non-season competition that there really is out there so Value your players, David Stearns, Mets organization, do better and, you know, get it right next time. You know, please lock down these players. Tell them, you know, you can't play in this competition. Uh, it is what it is. We value you too much. Tell them that because if you don't, then this is just going to keep happening. So, yeah, that's the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that David Stearns should have allowed Ronnie Mauricio to play in the Dominican Winter League? Uh, do you think that Edwin Diaz should have played in the World Baseball Classic? Do you think that these non-season competitions, you know, are important? You know, let me know what you guys think. I, I appreciate every, you know, comment that you guys interact with. You know, everything you guys, you know, um, want to talk about or say. Uh, I value you guys' opinions. And I love talking baseball. So, definitely let me know your guys' opinions on this. Because this was, uh, uh, you know, this really, this really sucked. Because I was a big fan of Ronnie Mauricio. And I will always be a big fan of Ronnie Mauricio. I hope he comes back soon. You know, he tore ACL. We'll see what happens. I don't know his timeline just yet. Uh, but I definitely will be making another video about Ronnie Mauricio. Um, and the timeline and the situation coming up soon. But this sucks. But it is what it is. The Mets have to do better at the end of the day.